Okay, back with two small tips on the product viewer. The first thing I wanted to show is I get annoyed every now and again with all these yellow flashing lines. And of course they make sense because they are there to indicate that you can select it and so on. But in a certain place I don't want to have those. And you can turn them off if you want to. So if you go to blueprints in your product viewer, you go to the product viewer more mouse pawn. Open that one and you will find all the way up it's here, there. This is where this yellow thing happens and it's the enable mouse over event and it's set to true so it means that it will work. So if I turn this one off, compile it to make it accept it and I will do this again, start no more yellow flashing but you can see I can still move things around so that was something I wanted to figure out because every now and again I do uh, let's say walkthroughs or fly around or whatever and it keeps flashing and flashing and flashing and I don't want that so that was one now let me turn it on again there you go um, the second thing I wanted was if I want to show people something in here like for instance in this part of the shed these are all individual objects now and what I would like to do is to be able to remove them all in one click so they are named side planks there's a small trick for that so I select all my side planks go to blueprints oops hang on too many side planks there you go go to blueprint here and I convert these components to a blueprint class there you go you need to be aware now because my scaling is set to 0 0.5 something weird will happen uh, you can give it a name you can store it whatever you want to create the blueprint and it creates it so here's the individual object now it has scaled it down so it takes some kind of scaling which it was so I just need to rescale it, pump it up and put it back again. Now once I've done that it is one part and the only thing I need to do is to add it to my uh, product viewer template. Now play, there you go and now if I want to move hang on here, I just click and I can move them all at once so that's pretty pretty handy. I thought because it makes much more sense to be able to remove these in one go than individual planks and then putting them back again. It takes too much time. So that's easier to make things clear to your customers. So two tips and done for today.